tackle junkies what's going on everyone really appreciate you guys and gals for clicking on the video this is not the video that i wanted to shoot today but when you can't catch any fish this type of video is what you have to resort to and i know you guys like the tackle videos anyways you know tackle talk and all that so hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you do be sure to smash the thumbs up but i'm dealing with pretty much the same conditions i'm sure you're dealing with as well and that's high muddy water we had a few inches of rain in the last couple of days and the lakes are super high and and muddy actually when i pulled up to the lake today the uh, the docks were they were taped off with that that yellow danger tape i wasn't even sure i could fish the lake had to call city hall to get the okay just to make sure and then next thing you know conservation pulled up and told me everything was cool and of course and he wanted to check the boat to make sure everything was legal but um anyways yeah so we're on the lake here um, high, muddy, and I, did, I didn't catch any fish. You know, water temps were only 49.1 uh, was the warmest I've seen today. Actually, until I pulled in this cove, which is right by right by the ramp here, and it's, it's 50, so like 50.3, something like that. Anyways, um, so since I didn't catch any fish, I wanted to talk about my top. I mean, I got three combos out today that... Um, that I fished with. I didn't pull anything outside. I brought more, but with the conditions we had, I, I really wanted to stick with my confidence. I didn't want to get overwhelmed with, with too many baits on the deck. So I got a couple moving baits out and a soft plastic and um, kind of went to work. But like I said, it, it did not pan out, but I wanted to go over my, we'll, we'll say top three baits, but I'm sure I'll show you guys a few others that I have in the rod box here. Things that I would normally fish this time of year with, but like I said, with the current conditions i just wanted to stick with those few and to see if i could get bit and like i said i went with my confidence and it was uh, not the right decision today you know normally when the water's this cold normally i pick a uh, a bladed jig over a spinnerbait but like i said for whatever reason today i just had more confidence in the spinnerbait and um like i said i didn't get bit on it but sometimes you know confidence plays a bigger role than actually using the right bait. Now today, it bit me in the butt, you know, I'm, well, I'm not saying I would've got bit on a charity bait either, or a bladed jig, but like I said, um, I went with the spinner bait and it failed me. But like I said, I'm, I'm not a very good cold water fisherman. I'm very used to fishing muddy water, not so much high muddy water. But like I said, we'll go ahead and go through the combos that I was messing around with today. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, first up, like I said, spinnerbait. Uh, this one here, that's the Booyah Covert. I do believe that one's a 3 8 ounce. Uh, the orange kicker on there, gold, Colorado. And I was kind of cycling back and forth with that one there and their new arsonist color, which is that fire crawl color. You can just see here by the looks of this one here. You know, I just was basically just beating the rock up all day with the spinnerbaits and crankbaits. And like I said, no takers. But these are the two that I cycled through. That's the arsonist color. Like I said, I do believe these are limited. They have the double gold, and then they have a single gold Colorado as well. Three-eighths, half ounce. They also have this color available in the swim jig. Like I said, I think only a few hundred available. I bought a few of them, so there's just, well, hopefully there's still some left for you guys. I'll drop a link down below and a discount code as well. But anyways, these are the two spinner baits that I cycled through. And like I said, no takers. But well, that's what we went with there. And this one here is a half ounce. Look at that, now the sun's deciding to come out today. Go figure. Anyways, anyways, as far as the combo goes, you guys have been around the channel for a while. You guys are very familiar with this rod, one of my favorite rods from Akuma. This is the TCS All-Purpose 6.9. It's a medium heavy with a mod fast action. It's a great moving bait rod. Not so much crankbaits, you know, treble hooks, but for your single hook baits, like spinner baits, underspins, you know, baits like that, it's a fantastic choice. It loads at an eighth, so it's great for, you know, lighter baits as well. But fun rod for a spinner bait. We have that paired with the SLX. This is not the, the new one. This is the, the older SLX. I will pick up a new one as well and do a comparison video. But the SLX, and the reason I really like the SLX on this rod is because, like I said, it, it loads a lighter lure, an eighth ounce, and this reel does really well with lighter lures. So when I'm gonna toss a, an underspin, 
that I'm going to throw like an eighth or three sixteenths. This is the combo that I like it on just because the rod loads a lighter lure and this reel handles lighter lures really well. And I'm running a 15 pound Seaguar and Vizex on this combo here. Number two, we have the flat sided crankbait. This is the Strike King Chick Magnet. This is the bigger size here. I believe it's right around a half ounce. That is the Firecraw Color. I was using that one there. And then I believe this one's called like Chartreuse Splatterback. No takers on either color, but that's the ones that I was slinging around today. And I mainly stuck to the main lake, main lake rock, main lake points, uh, mouth of coves. I didn't go too far back into the coves. Maybe I should have just because I didn't catch anything out there. But um, like I said, that's, that's mainly what I fished today. I uh, caught a ton of uh, leaves and moss with this bait, but like I said, no, no bass. As far as the combo goes, this is the Akuma Guide Select cranking rod. Now this one here is a seven foot, it's a medium power. And normally for my, my shallow crankbaits, I do prefer a medium heavy. I just like a bit more power when I'm shallow cranking. But this particular rod, even though it's labeled medium, to me it has more of a medium heavy feel to it. The EVX series used to be my go-to uh, cranking rod, but those are discontinued. And this one here is a great option. So if you guys are looking for a cranking rod, I definitely give this one a look. But like I said, seven foot, um, medium power, mod fast action. Had that paired up with a zillion. I do have a review on this reel. Uh, link it down below, definitely check it out. Probably my favorite reel of 2022. I'm kind of going back and forth with this one here in the Metanium. I'm going to give the edge to the Zillion after using it uh, more last year. I guess what it was is I kind of started using the Metanium first, and I just didn't put a lot of time in with the Zillion. But once I kind of dedicated it to my cranking rod and I used it a lot, it was kind of hard to deny that the Zillion is just awesome. So anyways, check out that review. And as far as the line goes, that is 15 pound a Seaguar in Vizex. Okay, number three, we have the soft plastic, which is the Biospawn Vile Bug. In black and blue, was using that one. I was also using a Trashmaster Jig and the Vile Bug. No takers on either. You guys know the drill. You guys pick them up over there at Carl's. I'll put a little discount code on the screen for you guys. Link them down below. But like I said, I was going back and forth with the Jig and the soft plastic. Wasn't getting bites on either, and typically a Jig will get bigger bites but you get less bites on it. So that's why I kind of stuck with the soft plastic more after a while. But like I said, no takers on either. Have that rigged up on a Mustad 4 rot EWG and that's a 3 8 ounce Mustad tungsten. For the rod, this is the Akuma Cycle Stick 7 foot 2 heavy power fast action. And this is the Shimano Corrado 70XG which is an 8.1, and typically I like a slower reel. The faster you go, the less power you have. But since I bought this reel strictly for pitching, I did go with that 8.1 just because the idea is the more pitches you get in, the more fish you're gonna catch. Now, that, did, that didn't pan out again today, but like I said, that's why I went with the 8.1 for this reel because I'm only using it for, for pitching. And we don't really have a lot of you know, thick mat and things like that here. So the 8.1 for where I'm using it is gonna have more than enough power for me. And I am running a 17 pound Seaguar. That's Tatsu on there, loving the Tatsu. And like I said, 17 pound line, 70 size reel. It holds more than enough line. Um, I'll do a review on this reel in the future. Uh, no doubt it's an awesome reel. You guys will love it for sure. Ton of control, like I said, just a great, great pitching reel. So anyways, that is the jig soft plastic combo so like i said that's the only three that i had on the deck today but we did have a few other combos in the rod box this one here is my soft plastic combo now i was using like i said the last one for plastics and jigs i could have brought this one out as well and and put a plastic on it but i didn't <laughs> i mean i guess i didn't really make too many great decisions today but like I said, this one here is for soft plastics, but really this particular combo here, this power and action of this rod, this is a seven foot two, medium heavy, fast action rod, again, a Kuma cycle stick, but that power and action is very versatile. If I could use it for one thing, it's going to be probably soft plastics, but it's a rod or that power and action that you can use for many different things from working the bottom to moving baits. I mean, it's just a very 
versatile rod. This is one of the rods I use for buzz baits. I mean, it's a great all around rod. 7.2, medium heavy, fast action rod. Cycle stick, have that paired with the Metanium. That is a 7.1. 7.1 there, 15 pound Seaguar Tatsu. Okay. So that would have been my soft plastic combo. Okay, we mentioned this one earlier. This is another one of the all purpose TCS rods, 6.9, medium heavy, mod fast. And we have the underspin on there. Like we said earlier, this is just a great uh, single hook moving bait rod. That's Picasso Lures underspin, Biospawn Lures XO Swim, running uh, 12 pound Seaguar and Vizex. Have that on the Tatula 80 in a 6.3. Very small, compact reel. I'm sure you guys are looking forward to a review on this reel. I'll do one here in the near future. But fantastic little reel. Tatula 80, again, 12 pound, Seaguar and Vizex, TCS 6.9, medium heavy, mod fast. Fantastic combo for your lighter single hook moving baits. What else we got in there? The old bladed jig rod. This one here, this is from Mustad. This is the, um, that's the Berkeley slobber knocker. I didn't throw that today, that's why there's no trailer on there, but it's a slobber knocker in their, uh, their fire craw color. But this is the Mustad. This is a 7.3, I believe it's a heavy, you see on here? It just says moderate action, but I do believe it's a heavy. 7.3, it just says moderate action, but I do believe it's a heavy power with a moderate action, which is a, a cranking rod. But I do believe, um, Brandon Lester, I do believe he designed this rod for bladed jigs as well. Again, 7.3, heavy, uh, moderate action. Let's see here, uh, the line rating is 12 to 20, little rating quarter to one ounce. And I'm running a 17 pound Seaguar and Vizex on here. And that is the Tatula 100 in a 6.3. That's so one of my bladed jig combos. Yeah, I didn't, didn't throw it around today. Like I said, I probably should have, but for whatever reason, I just had more confidence in the spinner, spinner bait today. And like I said, no, no takers. But anyways, that is the bladed jig combo. And last up we have in here is a jerk bait. And believe it or not, the jerk bait is the only bait that I've caught a bass on this year over at the ponds. So really, and we didn't talk about gear in that video because when I caught the fish, I wasn't recording. So uh, I'm not sure if I even made a video that day, did I? I think I just uh, put a picture up. Yeah, I'm not sure we even got a video that day. But like I said, uh, the that's the Stunna on there. Berkeley Stunna. I'm sure you guys are gonna ask about these. Calco's Fishing Bait Sacks, which is now Tackle Works. I'll pop a discount code on screen for you guys as well as link them down below. But uh, yeah, that is the Bait sack, pretty cool deal there to contain your hard baits in your rod box as you're traveling in your car. I mean, keep the hooks out of your carpet, out of your seats. Keep them contained in the bait sack. Anyways, I'm running 12 pound test. That is Seaguar and Vizex. Okay, Berkeley Stunna. Akuma Guide Select Cranking Rod. But this one here is a, I believe it's a 6.9. 6.9 medium power. Mod fast action. I like that shorter rod anytime I'm using a downward motion. Okay, a longer rod for me, I'm not a very tall dude, I'm like 5'11. A longer rod for me, I'm gonna end up slapping the boat, slapping the water. So anytime I'm using a jerk bait or a, a top water, I like that shorter rod. The way again, I'm not smacking the boat, smacking the water. So again, the Kuma Guide Select 6'9, uh, medium power, like we said, mod fast action. And this is the Akuma Hakai. Kuma Hakai, and I do believe you have the 7.3. Again, I like that faster reel when I'm using the rod to work the bait, like a top water jerk bait, you know, things like that. The reel's just picking up slack. You're actually working the bait with the rod. And like I said earlier, 12 pound Seaguar and Vizex. And like I said, this, this bait right here, this bait right here has caught my only bass so far this season. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know I didn't have any fish catches in today's video, but no doubt those seven baits will 
catch fish. Give them a shot, have some fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Love you guys. We will see you guys on the next one.